Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from TomePure.com and in this video we're going to show you how to set up Vienna Ensemble Pro with a host and a slave or a master computer and a slave computer. So here we have the cable modem which has the RJ45 connectors and so you want to take one of the RJ45 cables, like so, and then connect that to your laptop. So here we have the Cato modem, which actually has the gigabyte Ethernet router, as well as a Wi-Fi router contained all within the one box. So here we have the laptop that we're going to connect it to. Here's the RJ45 wire going in this to this adapter that goes into the Thunderbolt 2 jack of the Mac Pro laptop. And on the other side we have a USB 3.0 hard drive to store samples and so that's the hardware connection that we're using this little dongle here is just a uh, USB wireless mouse port it's going into the also a USB 3.0 port and then we of course have the power cable so we're just trying to keep it as simple as possible so the first thing we're going to do, since we're in the environment of the Mac, is we're going to go to Screen Share. And the way you can get there is go into your Apps. And then search for Screen Share. Or screen sharing and then you see the app come up and I've made a shortcut down below but we'll just go ahead and click on it from here now the next thing you need to do is know the name of your host basically this will be the slave that we're going to be hooking up so it's on a Mac Pro and the name of the computer is Mac book dot local so it's MacBook, and then you type in the .local extension. And once we've done that, we then will be able to see the MacBook. Here it is. And if we go, now I'm in the MacBook, and I go to Applications, and then I search for Preferences, And then in particular, if I click on the plus zero and say kind as application, there we have system preferences. And if I click on that, and then I go down to sharing, notice the computer name on the MacBook is MacBook. And if right underneath that it says computers on your local network, can access your computer at macbook.local. So that's how you can remember it, is in your preferences on your laptop or other slave computer. Okay, so now that we have this set up, we'll go ahead and start up, actually I already have started Cubase. So I'll bring that over here. Now I'll go ahead and add an instrument track, in particular Vienna Ensemble Pro. So you'll find it alphabetically in your list of plugins. So I'll add that track. And if I click on the Edit Instrument, notice nothing's connected. If I go Connect, it so happens that there's a local Diva and if you go back 
the previous video on using how to install via Ensemble Pro, then you'll see how we did that. So right now, I'm playing Diva. On the local computer. Now, in order to play the, com the instruments on the MacBook, let's go to back to the MacBook Pro. So we'll go ahead and start the server. So if you remember how we did that, we'll go to applications. Of course, you can do a shortcut, but for those who haven't seen the uh, previous video, we just go applications, then we'll search for Vienna. And then uh, we'll make a search in particular for an application. And there we see Vienna Ensemble Pro server. So we'll click on that. That's is starting the server on the laptop. And this is the keyless demo that we're starting. And then I'll go ahead and add an instance. I'll go ahead and call it contact. And I, I could actually do this all on the laptop, but it's much easier for you to see what's going on. By doing the screen sharing, I have control over the MacBook as if I were actually on the MacBook itself. So we'll close that. Then we'll go ahead and I'll use the channel menu and go insert plugin. And in particular, we'll do the native instrument and then contact five, which is on, installed on the laptop. And these are the instruments we have available. I'll go ahead and pick something uh, like damage. And so that is now becoming available. And remember the name of the instance is contact. So that's taking place on the laptop. Now, if we go and add another Via Ensemble Pro track, we already have the one connected to Diva. The first Via Ensemble Pro track is connected to Diva. So on this one, we'll go ahead and connect. And notice, right here, it tells us on the MacBook, we have a contact instance. And then we can go ahead and connect to that. And then by playing a note, I'm actually, let's go ahead and take a look at the MacBook Pro itself. You can see we're playing that instance of contact through the contact server instance. Now again, we can go ahead and add more instruments like we did in the last video. So if I go channel and uh, remember we're on the laptop now, so I don't have as many plugins available on the laptop. So if I go insert plugin, Let's go ahead and do another instance of contact. Let's do an AU format, stereo. And then let's go ahead and pick uh, vintage organs and I'll just do the basic jazz one. So that, now if I go to the mixer down here, we have two instruments, and notice that the first one we did, which was damage, was channel one. This one's channel two, mini channel two. So in order to access it, I need to add a mini channel. 
after this contact, after this Fiat Ensemble Pro plug-in, one very important thing, if we go back to the actual uh, laptop, and we, you can tell some, the laptop, it says MacBook at the top here. If you'll notice, the basic jazz is referencing MIDI channel one, so we need to change that to MIDI channel two. And so now we have MIDI channel two here, and it's, in, it's now corresponding to the same MIDI channel. So if I play some notes on the keyboard, we now hear the So in the next video, we'll take a look at some more features, some more advanced features of Vienna Ensemble Pro. So this is Bill McFadden signing off from TonePure.com.